Hey everyone. Well, back in another airport, as usual. Holiday season, right? A lot of travel, a lot of travel. I've been in tons of airplanes. Uh, a little fun question for you here. I've had this tradition that's developed over the years with people I've been dating or, you know, married to or whatever, like Tara and I would do this, other people would do this, where we would send what we call wheels up shots. So a little selfie from the airplane. I've been told by many partners now that I look the exact same in every single selfie that I send from a plane. Do you think that's true? I don't know. I don't really see it. I mean, clearly, sometimes I wear a hat. In addition to being on lots of planes and trains and automobiles, during the holiday travels, that also means I've been on a lot of airports and train stations and other places. Places that have elevators and escalators. And like it or not, this is the physical safety channel, right? So part of that is devices we use all the time. And you all like the elevator and escalator content. There was a comment, a series of them, in fact, in recent videos that I've talked about elevators and escalators, where a question came up, and it's a question that's been asked many times elsewhere on the internet. Uh, you could just search for it if you wanted to, the answer's out there, but I use way less water than Google or ChatGPT, so I'll give you the answer as well. It's a question about the green light. What is the green light that you sometimes see when you're getting on and off an escalator? You don't always see it nowadays. Some people might say, why? How come sometimes yes, sometimes no? Does it mean I'm on an old escalator or uh, something that's not modernized? Well, it could be, but probably not. It's a demark light, right? Demarcation light. It is supposed to alert people riding the escalator that, hey, you're about to be at a spot where you need to be paying attention. Keep alert. Now, you don't see it much anymore because it's not required by code anymore. As Howard pointed out to me, the demark light, super easy to remember, 777. It was originally required in 1977. They dropped it from the code in 07. So why did they drop it almost 20 years ago from the required code? Uh, it's because modern safety devices, the kind we've talked about before, make it almost unnecessary now. Yeah, the step impact device, or nowadays what you'd actually have is the comb plate impact device, which is much more sensitive. They are capable of detecting all kinds of jam scenarios where anything goes wrong. If that comb plate, we've talked about this, right? If the comb plate laterally moves or even lifts upward for any reason, that should trigger an immediate impact alert, an immediate stop, hit the brakes, and you might be stuck on the escalator, as we've seen in the news, or as we've seen in, I think there was a fictional TV show that talked about this in a funny plot line. But yeah, you shouldn't get hurt. So that's why you don't always see the green lights anymore. They're still out there. As you know, you can see I'm peppering it in lots of footage that I've been shooting for you the past several weeks. It doesn't mean your escalator is broken or not modernized if you don't see one. In fact, you might be on a very, very modern escalator. Safety is always the, the watchword there. You should be just fine. Speaking of the safety systems on an escalator, the algorithm now is delivering this kind of content to me constantly because it assumes this is what I like, because let's be honest, it is. And I saw this video, the magic escalator prank. And I looked at it, I was trying to figure out, I was like, what, what the heck is this guy doing? What's going on there? And I asked Howard. Howard uh, obviously is still doing great, and he misses you all. And he and I talked about, you know, the, the green light and so forth. But yeah, I showed this one to Howard. He was like, yeah, well, that guy's a dick. And I said, what's happening? He's like, well, think about what's going on here. Look at the zone where this is happening. You can't do this on the middle of the escalator. It's only right there near the demarcation zone. Can you tell what's happening? The guy is jamming his feet back into the step behind him. So when that tread is trying to drop down to the, to the flat steps area, the tread can't drop down. And that's causing another error. And as Howard pointed out, yeah, yeah, magic escalator prank. You better hope the step up thrust switch is working. Because yeah, if it does detect you, you're going to magically lose your heel. Uh, yeah, this is a complete dick move. Don't do shit like this, right? If you were to stop a device like this and somebody behind you falls, uh, you're liable for that. You're absolutely like committing a crime. So please, come on, don't, there's plenty of ways you can goof around in our world and play around with systems like this without hazarding other people. And if you do see any of these kind of systems that don't work properly, like you're not performing a field test, right? Don't, don't try to pull that one on me. I know that's how I would rationalize it. Maybe if I was some punk teenager, but yeah, these systems should always be tested regularly. In fact, Montgomery Kone, shouts out to Lily, Montgomery Kone, right? They have a device. It's an actual fixturing device to perform a comb plate impact test. So it can check different pressures of lateral movement, of up thrust movement. Yeah, these systems should be maintained. They should be working well. They should be protecting you wherever you are, wherever you're riding. I really think that uh, it's really cool just talking about these kind of systems in our world. It's talking about how things work to get us where we're going and keep us safe while we're going there.
I enjoy this content. I, I hope you enjoy when I talk about this kind of stuff. It's, it's neat to learn about. I'll have some tool content for you soon. In fact, I have a number of new tools coming out. Uh, our big Black Friday sale on Blue Group Gizmos has kind of ended, but we still have loads of stuff. Let's be honest, cheaper and better than most people out there. Uh, but I got something for you here. It's very Glen Gary, Glen Ross. You know what second prize is? Set of steak knives. Although not. It's something else. Something that I will reveal very soon. You're going to like it. You're going to like that. You're going to like a few things that I've been building and making with all of my great people at the core group and at Red Team Alliance and all of us, from, from all of us to you, we wish you a very happy holidays. I will get you some more videos out, even though I'm on the road visiting family and friends and others and loved ones. Yeah, I miss all of you. I hope you have good, safe travels, whether you're going up or down stairs that move, stairs that you got to use your legs on planes, trains, or whatnot. Say hi to your family for you, all right? Eat some good food, drink some good drinks, and please stay safe out there.